Welcome to the Nerd Cave News. I am one of your hosts, Zach Dykes. We're going to get into ranking November game releases. We've got a tier list right here. We've got several games that are releasing. We didn't put them all yeah. on the list, but I yeah. pulled down the list. So instead of doing like a top five, instead of doing, you know, all of that, we are going to rank them from S tier all the way down to D tier. Guys, we want to hear your rankings as well. So first up is a game called Evil West. It's coming out November 22nd. Um, Yeah, I must say, I've seen some gameplay vids. Like, it looks intriguing, but in terms of on my radar, it's not high. But it looks really cool. If you are into, like, Devil May Cry, if you are into that type of game, uh, it is essentially you are in the wild, wild west, but you are hunting down, like, spiritual beings. And what's crazy is, like, it is a, like, gun-slinging, shooting kind of game, but it takes heavily from Devil May Cry and God of War 2018. With that being said, Derek, I am going to put Evil West because it's it's interesting. It's not just kind of the same stuff. I'm going to put it at a good solid B tier. Well, next up is interesting, but it like Warhammer 40,000 Dark Tide coming yeah. November 30th for the PC. This is a co-op game. Uh, Vermintide was a really, really well received game. Yeah. Um, same people that made Vermintide is making Dark Tide. Um, yeah. They put more into this game than the previous ones. You get a little bit more customization with the characters and everything, and it is co-op based. Uh, so people that are into Warhammer and everything, I think they're going to really like this. Uh, yeah. But for me, this is not really a game that's on my list of like I have to play. I'm going to put it at a C tier. It's a C tier. I'm okay with C tier because it'll be coming to Game Pass. And, you know, if it sucks, at least I didn't pay extra for it. But let's move to the next one. Pentiment is coming November 15th to Xbox One, X, and S and the PC. But I did see, like, a behind-the-scenes documentary not that long ago. And, and the like, the premise is actually pretty good because it's like, all right, you're doing more of, like, murder mystery type things. And mm. it's like, okay, it's more told through, like, it's it's got that typical um obsidian like rpg storytelling type of deal but again game pass day one and it's only gonna you know i, I looked at it because you know these game pass games while they're free i always like to see what the price is because you know you the triple a are going to be 60 70 bucks so yeah. you already know how much you're saving this only is going to be 20 game 20 dollars at launch between b and c tier for me just because like you said the gameplay is not there like while it's yeah. like an intriguing premise and the studio doing it has a great pedigree of storytelling at the same time it's not like it's got to have not not the whole package but it's got to be yep. presentable in some aspects for everything and to me it, it doesn't deserve a tier our next one up is goat simulator 3 mm. comes out november 4, uh, 17th the ps4 ps5 xbox one x and s and the pc they jump too yeah. And went straight to three, which I love. And, uh, you know, for anyone that doesn't know what Goat it, Simulator it is. Up on the, it keeps up on the zaniness. It is crazy. It is not a regular simulator game. Uh, it is four-player co-op this time, which I think yeah. is going to be really cool because I think it was only two-player last time. And I think this will be a really fun party game. I think this is something that a lot of people are going to enjoy. Um, so I'm going to put it at a B tier as well just because... There's so many more solid games that we've, we've still got three yeah. three games that are, are they're going to be up there. Next up, Pokemon Scarlet and Violet comes out on November 18th mm. exclusively for the Nintendo Switch. Um, this one, I think, is going to be the, the great pairing of normal Pokemon storytelling. Yeah. You've got your gym systems. You've got your Team Rocket, uh, quote unquote. Mm. You've got three different story arcs and everything. And then you also have the catch them all uh, yeah. that was, you know, has been in everything, but in Arceus was the only focus and exploration and everything. So you've got those two elements combined with more open world, more exploratory stuff on just a first glance, like on a blind glance, like just uh -huh. first impressions, I would put it B tier because you know, Sword and Sh everyone thought Sword and Shield would be good because it's got open yep. areas, and it kind of, like you said, kind of got stale. And mm -hmm. Arceus, then it kind of expanded upon the ideas. While it did improve some things, it still had that staleness. So while the like it's still Pokemon, like they keep improving and they do great. They 
try, they're trying new things now by branching off into different genres. Like they even did a MOBA. Like I keep forgetting that yep. they did a MOBA last year. Um, so like the Pokemon IP is branching out. So it's good at the same time, the console traditional Pokemon games haven't lived up to the expectations of the handheld, uh, from yep. like DS, 3DS Game Boy from back in the day. So for that reason, I would almost put a B tier, but what you said leading into this like they they they've listened to the feedback they've improved upon it they've actually made it open world not just open area for certain for certain sections mm -hmm. they've gotten to the different modes they 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 just keep improving on the formula so because of the because of the what I want not expectation but the hope for it i would put it a tier yeah i would agree i think it's an a tier um next up Sonic Frontiers coming out November 8th. It's going to be literally everywhere. Yeah. Um, this one looks like I have not been excited for a Sonic game, I think, ever. <laughs> um, yeah. Yeah. This one looks really cool. Like, it is a kind of like a combination of Breath of the Wild and like RPG elements for Sonic and everything. Yeah. And the previews, a lot of people are really hyped about it. Uh, yeah. That you, you know, the more you upgrade Sonic, the faster he can go. He's a little slow yeah. at the beginning. Everything I read, like the Game mm -hmm. Informer article, the videos I've seen, I am okay with putting Sonic at A tier. I am too. I think, I think it's a solid A. And then we got one. There was one left. God of War Ragnarok coming out November 9th. Sequel to the God of War 2018, which, you know, we just replayed uh, for our Game Club game. You know, I we've both been very, very excited about it. Uh, the storytelling is, like, is amazing on these games. I, I cannot wait for this one. This one is super, super exciting for me. Uh, and, yeah, I, I cannot wait to get back into Kratos and Atreus' journey and see yeah. what... Odin has got in store for them. I mean, we don't even have to play beat around the bush, Derek. Uh, S it's S tier for sure. Um, like God of War is going to be amazing. It is going to be like I can already call it. It's going to be so many people's game of the year, uh, yeah. and I'm and I'm sure it's going to be our game of the year without yeah. even playing it yet. But there you go, guys. There is our ranking for the November games.